are theistic presuppositions superior to naturalistic and materialistic presuppositions within science? Well, I think a theistic uh, presupposition or point of view uh, is a better uh, stance for a scientist to, uh, to assume uh, because theists generally think that uh, God could have uh, worked through natural laws or through other processes that we have perhaps less experience with. And so the question is to go out and gather evidence and evaluate the evidence and see what the evidence points to. Now under a materialist presupposition, uh, you have to say that unguided random processes simply had to give rise to uh, particular features of the universe, even though those particular features look very much like they were uh, the work of, of a designer. Uh, it's kind of like a person going to Mount Rushmore and looking at the faces on Mount Rushmore and saying, you know, let's try to figure out what, you know, particular winds and, and erosion and, and uh, rainstorms and stuff could have produced these apparently designed faces on, on the uh, face of the mountain. You know, uh, if, you, if the scientist would open up his uh, point of view to allow for the uh, possibility that, in fact, those faces were designed by a purposive, uh, a purposive agent, uh, then uh, he would be uh, less likely to be stuck in, in really defending a, a fairly you know, silly proposition. Now, of course, the questions uh, in biology and, and physics and so forth are, are perhaps not as clear to many people as the Mount Rushmore example, but I think the point remains that if you uh, allow for, uh, if you don't confine yourself simply to material processes and let the evidence try to speak for itself, you might come to a, a different point of view than if you do artificially uh, limit your options. And, and to that, uh, and just for, for that reason, a theistic point of view, I think, is, is much superior for a scientist.